Welcome to week one of the Panther Rewind for the 2011 Leroy Panther football season. I'm Coach B.J. Zalesnik. This week, the Leroy Panthers opened up with St. Joseph Ogden Spartans. Uh, we knew coming in it would be a great first game for us in that St. Joe is a 3A school uh, and considerably bigger, and we felt like that uh, it would be a good test to see where we're at heading into our conference season. We opened up the game very strong, had a nice first series on the offensive side of the ball, and we're able to get a touchdown on the board early. We knew that uh, St. Joe had their starting quarterback coming back. He is uh, what makes the offense work. A very talented young man. And we were going to have to do some things to contain him and to disrupt his reads. Uh, but he had a lot of success on the evening. Uh, first touchdown uh, of the game is going to be coming up uh, here on a little semi rollout. We had talked about doing some things to trying to keep him in the pocket, but he's a very smooth player and does a nice job of getting himself uh, time to throw the ball. So at this point, you got a 7-7 ball game, uh, still in a position uh, to compete. And we have a series of unfortunate situations occur in which we put ourselves uh, behind a deep hole early on. Our next offensive possession, because of the heat and everybody sweating and being wet, we lose the grip on the football and it shoots between our quarterback's legs. They pick it up and run it in. We have a 14-7 ball game. We then end up fumbling the ensuing kickoff in which they turn into points as well. So in a matter of uh, five and a half minutes, you have all the touchdowns except one that are going to be scored in the football game. We knew that coming in, we were going to have to limit our mistakes, our penalties, and our turnovers to have an opportunity to win the game. Uh, and unfortunately, we just did not do that. Again, here's their quarterback, Hovland. Nice timing on the corner route. At this point, it's a 21-7 ball game. Our offense uh, had success moving the football throughout the evening. Thought we did some things very well. Obviously, uh, the turnovers are what stalled our drives out. I believe uh, we punted the ball one time uh, when the game was in question, which means you are either putting points on the board or you're turning the ball over. The offense uh, did show signs of being able to execute. We mixed it up pretty well. I thought we threw the ball well uh, at times, which is good. Uh, you know, we're a smaller, quicker unit this year, so we're going to have to put the ball up. And I thought our quarterback and receivers did a nice job of, of throwing and catching. Obviously, we had some misreads in the passing game that cost us. Uh, but the things we did well, we did very well. And obviously, the mistakes that took place are, are fixable mistakes, which is a good thing. One of the returning players for St. Joe this year was their fullback. Uh, again, a good, uh, big physical player. Uh, here's one of their traditional plays that they've run now for over 25 years, their counter tray. Um, they, they run it very well. It's a staple of their offense. Their read option stuff out of the gun. I thought their quarterback did a very nice job of managing that part of their offense. One bright area for us defensively, I felt our secondary was very physical. Um, and that's going to bode well for us down the road as the season progresses. Uh, you have to have a secondary that's willing to go through bodies to get the football. And I felt like we attacked receivers very well in the game. And here's some offensive runs where we executed well. We need to do a better job of managing our fatigue, uh, especially in these early games when it's hot. I did feel as though we were physical um, at the point of attack. Uh, the one thing where we got ourselves in trouble 
as the game progressed was we stopped coming down hill on defense and attacking, coming forward and attacking. Uh, we started to sit and watch quite a bit in the second half. This is our last drive at the end of the half where we had another big turnover that they, they drove down the field. Um, we were able to get a stop, um, which was at this point in the game was very important. Um, we end up getting a big block on the field goal attempt to keep the game at 21-7. So at this point, considering the turnovers and the success, success that they had uh, offensively, 21-7 um, ball game, uh, we're in pretty good position. And then coming out of the gates in the second half, they do what good teams do, and they took the ball and they went down and they drove it in and they punched it in. Uh, to give themselves a three touchdown cushion. We were still able to move the ball offensively in a lot of bright areas. Um, again, uh, the biggest thing that, that we've got to work on heading into this week is uh, when you get tired at the end of games, you've got to continue to execute your assignments have to continue to play physical and I really felt like in the fourth quarter we did not do that very well at all um, and that's been a big point of emphasis this week in practice putting together four quarters we did have a nice opportunity here on their bad snap uh, we got the ball deep in their territory and we're able to get the ball down near the goal line on a series of plays. And again, we did a nice job. And it kind of like the entire game, we'd run two out of three plays really well, and then the third one, not so well. And we got to get more consistent uh, in terms of executing our plays and putting drives together. So lots to work on. Um, it was a good two-year contract with St. Joe. I felt like we learned a lot from them as a program. I uh, wish them the best of luck, and we look forward to opening the Heart of Illinois Conference season next week against Fisher at home, the home opener. We'll see you then.